Grant, you just got off Cousin Casey. Uh, huge reputation on this fellow. How do you see him? How did he feel? Uh, he won well. Yeah, he did joy. Um, I'm quite excited to ride him. Obviously, going into the great ones. Um, he's a real exciting prospect. And obviously, there's a few three-year-olds um, that he has to take on. Charles Dickens he's, would be his main uh, competitor. But I think this is all, all his own against just about any horse in, in uh, South Africa at the moment. He's, he's shown his two-year-old form has translated into a first-up run that was quite exceptional. Um, in, in terms of his potential, is he one of the best you've sat on so far, or, or what, what's, what's, he, what's his potential? Yeah, no, I said it uh, after his last win, I said this is probably the most exciting um, uh, young, young Wusa Britain um, since the time I rode Marin Resco for Mr. Bass. Um, I put him in the same league as him. I think he's a real special horse, and I think he'll, he'll do well. He's got all the attributes to him. Yeah, he's, um, he's got the perfect breeding line, and he's, you know, he's got the, the action and everything he needs to do in the race. He does. So he switches off and he quickens up very well, so that's, that's important. Just walk with me. Let's talk to me about how the race actually went. Did he settle well, and, and what was he like in the race? Yeah, no, he settled up uh, quite nicely. Um, as I said before, he's quite a straightforward horse to ride. He places himself, switches off, and, he, and when it's time for him to quicken, he does so. So, um, easy horse, horse with a lot of ability, and uh, he, showed, he showed him today that uh, he's a force to be reckoned with. Thank you, Grant. Thank you. Thank you. Hey.